All right, ladies and gentlemen, so this is going to be a bit of a follow-up to my last video, which for all intents and purposes was meant to be a very quick type of video where I just kind of let you guys know to say, hey, this shit happened. We got a copyright strike from Onision. It's hilarious given the context of the situation, but also really annoying at the same time. But what makes this even more annoying and really actually kind of concerning if you are someone that is a recipient of a copyright strike is how you are able to contest it with YouTube's copyright system. So I want you guys to pay close attention to this image right here I'm going to flash up on the screen. So this right here is an attempt for me to file a counter notification because I believe this copyright strike was done under a false pretense because there is such a thing as called fair use for parodies, but I digress. Check this out, okay? So when it comes to enter contact information, you are literally doxing yourself. YouTube is literally making it so that you have to dox yourself. And that's not safe. That's not okay. Especially if the person that gave you the copyright strike is a very malicious individual and would actually use your private information that you had to give in order to submit this counter notification. Like, who knows what would happen? You know what I'm saying? So it's almost not even worth submitting a counter notification if it means that I got to put myself and my family in jeopardy because of some bullshit involving a false copyright strike. Now, right here, ladies and gentlemen, I want to give you guys a bit of a history when it comes to Onision and his flagrant abuse of the flawed YouTube copyright system, which is easily flawed and easily abusable, especially by malicious individuals. Look at this. We have ourselves video after video after video after video after video after video talking about how Onision is abusive when it comes to copyright strikes and how they are false copyright strikes. You can't make this shit up. Now, I've spoken briefly on this matter before in a video that I had done many, many months ago involving Onision and his flagrant abuse of the copyright system. We had ourselves a YouTuber that was making documentary-esque videos about Onision that was all done well within fair use, by the way. Cecil McFly, I believe, is the individual's name. And she was in danger because of false copyright strikes, which again, is completely fucking bullshit. So you see here, it's very easy for people under a malicious mindset to issue copyright strikes and issue copyright claims whenever they feel like they want to do so to try and mess with someone. And the victims of said copyright claims and or strikes are already in a very vulnerable and losing position because number one, they got to give out personal information uh, you know, aka doxing themselves, and number two, it's up to the original claimant in the first place whether they want to relinquish the copyright claim and or strike, or if they want to keep it on. At the end of the day, the ball is back in their court. They have all the power. Like, what more can I say about it? Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, those are just some of the things that I wanted to talk about here in this video and kind of give you guys an idea as to the kind of person that we are dealing with. If you guys don't already know what kind of person Onision is, and also to point out the severe and dangerous flaws that YouTube has in regards to their copyright system. It's 100% unsafe, it's unfair, and it's complete bullshit. Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching. Share this video around, like it, retweet it, all that stuff. Maybe even make a Reddit post or a YouTube community tab post if you're able to do so. Because this shit ain't right, alright? Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.